Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, guys. Um, it's Sharon, and it is Tuesday evening, and I want to put a video up called Faith, Not Fear. Do Not Be Afraid. What are you afraid of? A better question would be, how do you respond to fear? How you respond to your fear is what determines how much power it will have over you. How has fear hindered you from living the life you want to live? How is fear stopping you from accomplishing your goals? Don't let fear stand in your life. Don't let fear steal your relationships. Don't let fear steal your joy. God wants you to have a good life. But one thing for sure, you have an enemy. His name is Satan or the devil. And he does not want you to enjoy your life. He wants you to be afraid all the time. Fear is expecting the devil to move. Faith is expecting God to move. And we choose. We can put your eyes on the devil or your eyes on God. Here's what you need to understand about the nature of the devil. He's an opportunist. When you're the weakest, he's the most evil. The devil doesn't control our thoughts, but he influences our thoughts. He wants to whisper thoughts of fear to us, so we'll, we will accept them. And he can control our lives. God will never use fear to control your lives and when you read in the Bible, it says fear of the Lord. That means a reverence of God. That does not mean a negative emotion. It means a positive emotion of reverence for God. God will never bring fear into your life to cause you to do anything. The devil wants you to believe that God's always kind of mad at you and he really doesn't like you. And that's the concept of God. The devil wants you to have. Your high priest is madly in love with you. And when you go to Jesus and you say, Jesus, I'm tempted and I'm feeling fearful. Jesus says, I know exactly how you're feeling. Let me overcome it. Because I have faith in Jesus I don't want to approach the throne room with fear and trembling thinking God doesn't want to hear from me. You know what? God so excited about hearing your voice every time you come and every time you pray. He's so excited to hear what you have to say. And he wants to help you and he wants to do things for you. But you have to believe and believe all the way through. If you let fear rule, rule your life, you'll never go on to find out about the wonderful life that God has for you. Do not be afraid. Do not be afraid. You know, the Bible says, do not be afraid or fear not. One of those two things 365 times in the Bible says do not be afraid or fear not. That's the one thing for each day of the year. You can take that with you from January all the way through December. Do not be afraid. The commandment do not fear or fear not is the number one commandment in the Bible. God did not create us to live in fear. It's the opposite of the way he created us. God created us to live in peace. There's really only one way to conquer and to overcome fear, and that's with faith. When fear knocks on your door, send faith to answer it. Fear and faith are two opposing forces. We receive everything from God by faith. And we receive everything the enemy wants for us by fear. 
Faith brings a victor, a victory in your life. What is faith? Faith, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Now, let's think about that. What is that? It's the substance of things that you hope for, but you don't see yet. The evidence of things you do not see, but fear is actually believing for the negative. If fear is the evidence of things we don't hope for, and the substance of things we don't want to see happen, so we really must learn to choose to live by faith. And that just simply means putting your trust in God, believing that He loves you, that He sent Jesus to die for you, that He has a good plan for your life, and that He's promised to never leave you or forsake you. Many of the places in the Word of God where the Bible says, Do not fear, the only reason that they give you for not whoops sorry for not fearing is because i am with you god says do not fear for i am with you he does he says do not be afraid because i'm with you he says do not be afraid because i am for you he says do not be afraid because I love you. Do not be afraid because I am your God. See, ultimately, fear is a matter of perspective. Fear is the matter of perspective, how you view something either by faith or by fear will determine whether or not you turn around towards it or you run away from it. Fear is a response to set of possibilities the devil would love for you to live by fear because when you're afraid you run away fear makes you want to run away from what you need to run to let me say this if you could see god how he really is you would run toward him and you'd never feel fear again He's madly in love with you. He understands not just your issues, but why you have th those issues and what he thinks he wants you to come to him and let him mercifully and graciously help you. Jesus said, I'm humble and gentle and you'll find rest for your souls in my presence. Do not know that the word fear doesn't mean to shake or tremble or to be nervous. The word fear means to take flight or to run from. So when God said in his word, do not fear for I am with you. What's he really saying is fear is going to come to you. But when you feel it, don't run. Stand still and see the salvation of the Lord, which he will work for you today. I wonder how many opportunities God has put in front of you to do great things. And yet, you are afraid of the unknown. So you stayed in what you think is the safe zone. Your new attitude towards life has to be, I will not fear. I didn't say you won't feel fear, but you're not going to give in to fear because God is with you. Focusing on your fear instead of having faith and the one who holds your tomorrow is foolish. Focusing on your fear instead of having faith and the one who holds tomorrow is foolish. Don't do it. And again, I say, don't do it. Put your mind on the things of God, not on our fear. Being afraid is not trusting God. 
Don't let anything cause you not to trust God. Don't take anyone's opinion more highly than what God says about you. What he says to you is his word, no matter who's against you. And no matter who tells you that, you're not good enough or you can't and you'll never be able to. If God is with you, you can do anything that God asks you to do. It's time for you to live a braver life. It's time for you to step out and find what all you're capable of. And I really think it's time for us to really go back to believing that all things are possible with God. And sometimes I don't think it's so much that we doubt that God can do it, but we doubt that he will do it for us. We have doubts about ourselves. It's fear that causes us to doubt that God loves us and has a plan for us. You've got to get over what you're afraid of in order to walk in the best of what God has for you. You have to get over what you are afraid of in order to walk in and experience the best of what God has for you. God put the best things in life on the other side of fear. You know when God says to fear not, he's not telling us not to feel fear. I actually think it's kind of a warning that you will feel the fear. And I think that it's fear is the main thing that Satan uses to try to control people. Fear keeps you from going forward. How many things do you think that the enemy has stolen from you or kept you from doing just because of fear? So, we have to learn that we don't have to bow down to fear just because we feel it. Courage is actually taking forward motion in the presence of fear. Courage is not not, the, not feeling the fear. Courage is feeling the fear and doing what you believe God wants you to do anyway. He didn't say that things won't be scary. He just said, don't be afraid. God didn't say, everything is going to be peachy. Everything's going to be easy. No, in fact, he said, in this world, you will have trouble. But I have overcome. He didn't say it was going to be easy. He just said, don't be afraid. Do not be afraid to accept Christ or to turn back to him. Do not be afraid to repent of your sins, no matter where you are, no matter what's going on. There's nothing you can do that could ever make God love you less. Do not be afraid. Do not be afraid to live for him. You want to know why you don't have to be afraid? Because God loves you. Nothing you are facing and nothing you will ever face can stop his love. Amen.